It's maths! It's maths! Let's rub the magic elbow patch and see what fun is coming up today. No more sad maths. It's bad maths time. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> Will these poor, miserable creatures ever get out of Maths Mansion? Not if they do as badly as they did last week. They haven't been learning, so they won't be leaving. Oh no, this is happening all too often. If you're going to watch this rubbish, you better make your will, because it might kill you. Hello, we're finding factors. Pairs of numbers that multiply together to make... 12! <laughs> and the first pair of factors we have is 1 and 12. 12 times 1, there we go, is 12, and so is 1 times 12. So that's one pair of factors. And a long, thin rectangle from decimal and 12 elf. Put him back. Oh, there's a bit of rearranging going on. Oh, it's the shorter, fatter shape from Mr. Jahalf and Thick Stick. Two lots of six. Another pair of factors. Two times six. Or oh, six times two. Hmm, any more ways of making 12? Three and four. <laughs> Another pair of factors making 12. Well done, third bird and snorter. Three lots of four. That's three different pairs of factors making 12. 12 is the number we are breaking up. How many pairs of factors can you find? The factors could be four and three, or six and two's what they could be, or 12 and one in a straight line. Remember, that was nothing to do with me. Now, who needs some questions? I'm Sarah Bisfam from Watford. And I'm Christian Cooper from Southend. Fine. Now, on the screen, we're looking at factors. The pairs of numbers that multiply together to make 12. 1 and 12. 2 and 6. 3 and 4. Let's see the factors for the other numbers up to 12. Oh, yes. Now, highlight the number with the most factors. 12. Three pairs of factors. Yes. Now, one is a very sad number because it only has one factor. One times one is one. What numbers have only got two factors? Two, three, five, seven and eleven. OK, take five. What are the only two numbers that can be divided exactly into five? The number itself and one. And numbers that can only be divided by themselves and one are called... Pants! No! Numbers that can only be divided exactly by themselves and one are called prime numbers. <laughs> now, there's only two numbers that multiply together to make five. One, thank you, decimal, and five. Or, put the same numbers round the other way, it's five and one. There they are, five and one. Now, just like other prime numbers, two, three, seven and eleven, stop that decimal. Five has got just one pair of factors. Yes. Five is the number we are breaking up. How many different factors can you find? 
five times one or one times five on its end or on its side there's only one pair of factors in a prime <laughs> Madam, you're on primetime TV. Yes, your number three is a prime number with only one pair of factors. How does it feel, madam? A factor? I'm you a factor? You should be excited. I'm yes, very excited you are the to factor. Be a factor. Congratulations. What do you feel about the factor factor in prime time? The factor factor in prime time is not something I feel much about. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Primes are the numbers we are looking for How can you spot one every time? They divide exactly by themselves and one Their list of factors is not very long There's only one pair of factors in a prime OK, the test is ready for you We've got all the factors of all numbers up to 24 What number? is a factor of all numbers. One. Let's take out one. Which is the next most common factor? Two. Starting on two, take out all the other numbers that two is a factor of. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, 18, 20, 22, 24. Now, starting on 3, knock out all the other numbers that 3 is a factor of. 6. Already gone. 9. 12. Gone. 15. 18. Gone. 21. And 24. Gone. What's left? Starting on 5, knock out multiples of 5. 10. 15. 20, already gone. Six has gone already. Multiples of seven. 14, 21, they're already gone. What numbers are left? The prime numbers. Yes, take out all the numbers that can be divided and you're left with all the numbers that can't be divided, except by themselves and one. The primes. You did it. You did well enough to get yourselves a maths card. Yes! And this time, it's a multicoloured factor card. Take it and go. Now, could you spot the pattern of primes after the first row? If you went on to do the higher numbers, would the pattern of primes stay the same? I wonder. Find out and remember, no leaving without learning. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion, let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it, there's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, one cannot be a prime number. It hasn't got a pair of factors. It can't. 